Live from his apartment, this is Deep Inside Your Business with Ben Begley. Good evening, America, and welcome to Deep Inside Your Business with me, Ben Begley. As I go deep inside your business. I should probably change the title of that. First up, Amanda Bynes is back at it again, this time preparing for her role in Death Race 3 by endangering the lives of pedestrians and drivers alike. In case you didn't hear, Amanda Bynes was arrested for crashing into a parked police car while sober. Right, and Chloe is the sexy Kardashian. Oh, Jesus. <sighs> she looks like a stunt woman from Harry and the Hendersons. She is massive. Amanda was on parole for reckless endangerment and broke this parole and was arrested again when she was caught texting and driving. In her defense, it was found out she was tweeting and driving. And if you've read her tweets, you too could not miss a moment. In fact, I have a few I'd like to share with you right now. Oh, this is a good one. I beat the beat up, up, up. Turn me on. Hell yeah, hell yeah, fucking right. Fuck yeah. And of course, my personal favorite, live fast, Die young, bad girls do it well. Couldn't have said it better myself. Once every generation, a man comes along that defines that generation. He speaks for a youth that has no voice. That man is Polly D. And in recent legal disputes between his manager, it's been revealed that he will be making upwards of $2.1 million for season six of Jersey Shore. Now I know what most of you are thinking. That's more than an entire school district of teachers will make in their entire lifetime. But just watch this video and tell me that he doesn't deserve every penny. <laughs> busted! Busted! Oh yeah, burgers for the boys! Burgers for the boys! It's... Uh, okay, yeah, pretty much anybody could do that if they had enough alcohol in them. Anyways, uh, in politics this week, Obama came forward to once again say that Kanye West is a jackass. It's a slow week for politics, apparently. Oh, and Rick Santorum pulled out of the race, which is such a shame because he was such an intelligent, open-minded individual. Take a look at this clip. The idea that somehow or another that this is the equivalent, that uh, you know, being black and, and being gay is, is the same is simply not true. And there are people who were gay and, and lived a gay lifestyle and aren't anymore. I don't know if that's the similar situation. I don't think that's the case with anybody that's black. So it's not the same. And I Michael Jackson proves your theory wrong, Mr. Santorum. He was whiter than me. Charles Manson was denied parole for a twelfth time. And in case you're wondering what this creepy SOB looks like nowadays, here's a photo. Wow, he looks kind of like Santa Claus. If Santa Claus was a serial killer who had a swastika tattooed on his forehead and a soulless look in his eyes. Yeah, that's gonna give kids nightmares. Ho, ho, ho. Do you hear that? You know what that means. That's right, Titanic 3D has finally sailed into theaters. The 3D in Titanic has been said to be so realistic that teenage boys are getting kicked out of theaters all across the nation for trying to motorboat Ms. Winslet. And by teenage boys, I mean me. And by across the nation, I mean AMC Burbank 16. <sighs> They're just so vivid and like, is it, you just want to grab them. Is it hot in here or is it just... Me remembering her boobs. Oh, they're fantastic. <clears throat> now we move on to a more somber segment, where we remember someone who's recently passed. Today, that person is Kim Jong-il. But today, we don't remember you as a tyrant, or a violator of several hundred civil and human rights laws. No, today, we remember you as a person with a unique sense of fashion. No one wears gray quite like you. Your sense of humor. Your physical fitness. When you won North Korea's sexiest man of the year 10 years running. Mainly because you threatened your countrymen with death if they didn't vote for you, but still, it counts. And finally, for the lasting legacy you'll leave us all in your son. Who looks like a creepy clone of you. It's uncanny. So today we salute you, Kim Jong-il, the way you've saluted us for decades. Well, that's it for me this week. Until next time, go deep, America. Deep. We out? We're good? All right. I feel good about that. It's a pretty good first show. See, we do this on a weekly basis. Yeah. Good work, everybody.